Hello, welcome to the E4M Talk Show. Our guest today is Mr. Puneet Gupta, Digital Business and Marketing Head, Personal Wealth, Adel V's Wealth Management. Welcome to the show, Mr. Puneet. Yeah, very good afternoon, Kanchan. Thank you very much to have me on the show. Puneet, you have launched a new digital campaign recently, Don't Waste, Invest. Consumer market companies must be pissed off. I mean, do you think that your campaign will be able to distract people from offers and discounts? So there are two questions. So, yeah. yeah. So, so, uh, so I'll try to answer it. You know. Uh, so, frankly speaking, when we made this campaign, okay, uh, our target was not the you know uh, consumer FMCG companies or something like that. Okay. So they are they are giants in terms of you know marketing spends in term in comparison to any financial services company. You know, in terms of spends in the market. However, you know, uh, now. Frankly speaking, okay, uh, the whole objective and genesis was when we were building and we were getting the consumer insights, when we were doing the consumer research, the most important thing which comes when it comes to, you know, creating wealth or investing is people are scared. People say that it's very risky to invest. Okay. Second thing, which generally is an excuse all of us give, you know, when we are in inertia, when we don't want to do something, we generally give an excuse that we don't have enough money, okay? Now, when we were looking at this inside of the consumer, we went ahead and did a lot of research and we spoke to, you know, and we, we put our brains together and we said, okay, well, this is true that, you know, markets may be risky for somebody or investments for that matter, may be risky for somebody who doesn't understand, who doesn't have a discipline of investing in the markets. Well, point taken. But when it comes to shopping, impulsive shopping, are you like, you know, really careful about it? Like when there's an offer, you know, buy to get three free, maybe I ha- I need only two shirts. I'll go out and end up buying five. Okay. So the question came and, you know, our team started saying, is it really true that your money is safe with you? So that's how the whole campaign got generated that we talk about, you know, when it comes to investing, that it's not safe, but frankly speaking, the, the most risky thing is that our money is not safe with us. Because when it comes to impulse, when it comes to discounts, when it comes to shopping, we just end up spending more than enough, okay? And that's how the whole campaign got created. And the second thing is, as I said, you know, people say, I don't have enough money. Now, if I end up spending more impulsively, if I do those small savings, it can actually, you know, we, you know, a lot of forums, all wealth managers talk about it. The, the impact of compounding. So if small investments made regularly over a period of time can actually help you buy X number of many shirts or trousers which you bought in the shopping in the impulse. So frankly speaking, when we created this concept, it was purely based on the insights from the consumer not to take on the biggies on the FMCG, uh, you know, uh, in terms of creating an ad which was against them in terms of a campaign. So, so one thing, uh, your, your campaigns are, you know, I suppose, largely based on digital platforms, including, exactly. I think you planned on to launch it on OTT also. So yes. this shifting wealth management campaign from traditional medium to, to digital platforms is remarkable. So mm-hmm. is it to expand the reach to younger population or is it for, you know, better impact and ROI that digital platforms offer or maybe both? Uh, see, uh, so... Partially it is both, okay? But if you look at it, the trend is changing now. The way markets are evolving, okay? Initially, you know, in the yesterday years, okay, TV was the medium. Then people thought in financial services, pink paper is the medium. And I, I'm not taking away, they are the mediums today also. But the way market is growing, it's large, you know, influence of the digital platforms. Because, you know, if you, like, if you look at the research, Around two and a half hours, every Indian who is using the smartphone spends on, 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 on you know, these digital platforms on a social media today. So you get that sort of an attention, number one. Second, digital marketing helps you to basically talk to your customers in different segments, which, you know, the other above the line mediums don't allow you. So if I do a TV ad, it's generic TV ad, am I right? But if I am talking to, so if I want to talk to a specific age group, say from an age group from 30 to 40, 45, 
who are basically you know uh, uh, who, who who have actually you know started earning well uh, and who are moving into the next level of affluence and who are spending more so i can have a very targeted conversation with that segment using the digital platforms which is not possible on above the line platforms or maybe or a newspaper or a tv but uh, so so frankly speaking that's one second as you rightly said you know if uh, something which you can do very targeted if it can actually be uh, uh, we can build up those cohorts and and speak to those customers and interact with them uh, very uh, one on one basis okay when i say one on one basis digitally when you are you know on their phone you are interacting with them so your roi also improves in the recent ipo you know media rights auction you might have seen that tv and digital rights are sold off for almost equal amount so so, yeah. so i mean do you think that digital advertising will continue to grow and even surpass the tv in in next few years i mean in general not only ipo yeah so so a very good question uh, so i'll tell you what will happen tension uh, i think you know uh, the way market is going to grow exponentially there will be a market for everybody and it will grow for all the channels i i i i don't think that it will actually degrow for either tv or holdings or above the line other activities or for papers but i personally believe okay digital platforms will grow faster than the other mediums reason being the penetration of internet and if you look at globally uh, you know internet rates data is cheapest in india now that allows you basically to spend more time okay on 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 all these social platforms so what is happening because of that and you know uh, so example you take okay if there is somebody in a tier 2 tier 3 city so i am not trying to actually promote or depromote a specific platform but i'm just trying to give you a perspective okay if you have a tier 2 or tier 3 city okay if somebody is working he gets only 2 hours in the evening to maybe watch the tv okay or he will watch the tv when it is an ipl match or something like that because the whole day he may be working either in a shop or maybe working with some corporate however you know because of penetration and smartphones in india now mobile is in your pocket every time you can actually watch it for half an hour while you having your lunch you can actually watch it maybe while driving to the office coming back and you will also watch it in the evening when you come back to home so 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 your your span, you, you, your chances of getting the span and attention of a user are much higher when you use digital platforms first second digital platform allow you to talk to the customers you can actually create different personas of the customers okay so there can be multiple personas created and i can have a very targeted conversation with the specific set of customers using digital which is not possible in other maybe say or for 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 tv or for a, for a newspaper sort of a medium however as i said every will thing will have its own place it will continue to grow so uh, like we, as you rightly said in ipl you know the rights have sold because ipl still has its own own attraction people watch it on a tv people want to go in a bar watch, want to watch a tv on a large screen want to have a have a coffee or or a drink along with it so that can never be replaced by the digital medium but if you want to have a very specific target based conversation one to one and if you want to build personas of different customers have those cohorts and talk to them i think digital plays much more role i would also uh, like to know from you what are the new marketing trends in the bfsi space in general and in edelweiss wealth management in particular i mean asking this question because uh, i suppose the sales and marketing is a bit tough in this space you know compared to the consumer uh, uh, yeah yeah sure so i'll tell you uh, so you know thanks to covid okay uh, a lot has changed in terms of a consumer behavior as you rightly said in financial services it is a lot about educating the customer okay everyone doesn't understand uh, investing is a little complex especially if looked from an outside world okay it may be very easy once you start learning about it but from an outside world it's a complex world right as you rightly said it's maybe easy for somebody to choose a shirt or go and buy a grocery but it looks very complex to somebody if he has to start investing or saving money now what happens thanks to as i said thanks to covid a lot of consumer behavior has changed and it has made life much easier for people like us in wealth management okay now i'll i'll tell you earlier we used to do a lot of events which used to be offline 
and you know you were not sure how many people will come attend those events because you want to just educate or launch a new product and explain the features of the product but now you know as i said thanks to covid the behavior has changed now people can come on webinars you can do multiple webinars you can explain your products you can speak to specific set of consumer with a specific set of a product or a feature who you think within your data or within your consumer base can be spoken about that specific product so example we have a million plus customers so i have a specific product which only suits to say 10000 people in my 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 base i will invite those 10000 people on a webinar explain them how the feature in the product works so first is webinar so that is catching up it helps educate the in this uh, the clients it helps to speak to a specific cohort of customers within your existing base number one number two i i i am seeing a great trend in whatsapp so what's happening whatsapp is becoming a new region though it is encrypted so it is quite you know in that way controlled it is not open platform where you can do the marketing but it is used to help consumer basically service the consumer better a lot of bots have been built now on whatsapp it helps consumer to basically get the service uh, uh, you know on a fly with a with a touch of just a finger it also helps generate an interest an interest about a product so if i have explained a product you create a you know a, a specific set of a bot and it can help you generate the intent of a customer okay without interfering into his life otherwise somebody used to call a customer he used to feel intruded now all that is gone okay so webinar whatsapp bots whatsapp okay your social platform remarketing display all that helps you know if a customer has come to your website he has looked at that specific thing as you rightly said you know it's not as easy as in a consumer marketing thing happens but you can actually keep showing the consumer and keep generating the interest from a consumer so i think a lot of so i was just you know looking at a new trend has come rich email that's called amp okay automated mobile uh, something uh, uh, i just have the name ha huh. automatic automated mobile pages okay now this is something very new okay where it it is not a bot but it works like a whatsapp bot where you have an email which is interactive okay and you can generate the interest on it you can actually showcase the entire product infographics and a long email can be actually capsuled into a small email where you know you can have have sections which can open as an interactive conversation with chatters so i am saying a lot of innovation is happening in the industry a lot of things are coming up so these all mediums are helping you know reach out to the consumer without intruding his privacy or a time okay and a consumer can choose okay which platform he wants to use what sort of information he wants to use and then in the in, in the back end we are using a lot of data analytics okay okay so now you are you know you are giving an omni omni channel uh, experience to the customer he can be connected on the phone he can be connected on the whatsapp he can be messaging on on in app notifications on the app uh, on your mobile app and email all these things are available to the customer now data analytics helps us find out consumer is what is his favorable mode of communication so somebody who is good at maybe notifications somebody is good at you know or, or read a lot of whatsapp messages somebody basically prefer to read emails so we look at it holistically okay a consumer and then we try to optimize so if your behavior is that you only respond to whatsapp i will try not spam you but communicate only on whatsapp with you somebody like me who may be you know old school and still read emails i will basically communicate with you on email so that's what happens so we optimize we we do not spam too much uh, you know uh, to the consumer by communicating from all the angles and that is how i think digital marketing is becoming sharper by the day and i believe as the market grows and if you look at global trends there will be a lot of innovation which will keep coming in this so uh, you are catering to uh, you know wealthiest families in india and uh, high net worth individuals so how are you uh, leveraging new tools in the marketing technology i mean which you have just explained uh, to get them on board so so kanchan as i said okay uh, uh, so it is the same it is the same tools which you use for a commoner like me or, or you are using different tools for them no no you are not a yeah yeah can tell you are not a commoner okay but i'll tell you uh, so what happens uh, 
digital marketing and platforms and communication helps you to make it more sharp as i said you know uh, if you are an hni customer and so there is always an assistance which is available okay because that's what you prefer you want somebody to assist you as an rm as a service manager which is a as a promise to you and we will provide you so we believe in a hybrid service so we use digital communication digital platforms for you to do the transaction and servicing but at the same time there is a promise that we will actually assist you if you want either an rm through an rm or through a service relationship manager so that's our promise as as a, as a, as a as a part of a proposition now when you talk about as i said it keeps becoming more sharper and sharper looking at your preferences so somebody who is an hni and i can have your behavior or you can actually maybe tell me that you need only send me whatsapps and i read only on sundays okay my time is 10 to 11 so it can be very specific for you okay and uh, frankly speaking i would love to give that experience to all my customers but that may not be possible because you may not be able to store that sort of a data and analyze for every customer okay but we, as you rightly said for ultra hni customers for wealthy families which is your, your that cohort of customers we are very specific okay what what is their liking what are their preference of channel what are their timing we will ensure that that you know the customer is not intruded and he gets the communication as per his preference both by channel timing everything what is your strategy for further brand building and i have just last question what exactly you are doing to to uh, you know expand your reach among women i mean women are largely still not you know interested in you know managing their own wealth yeah yeah so i'll tell you you know this is very interesting topic okay and and this is very close to my heart okay 3 years back we launched a program called blue bindi this is a program which is focused on women okay we launched it 3 years back on women's day okay this program basically en- encourage and en- uh, women to enroll in this program where we want to talk and educate women about you know financial independence about financial planning goal setting how the entire complex world of financial services work okay and give them the confidence that we are by your side if you, you know you are you are become independent you are doing professionally great in your own career so why to leave your financial decisions on somebody else you can take them yourself so the whole genesis of the entire program is around around you know educating the women making them self confident okay uh, making them confident and giving them the confidence we are along your side to help you actually become educated to make you self reliant to take financial decisions and become independent so there is a program which is running for 3 years but uh, uh, you know because of covid it 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 was little volatile but we 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 are committed to it and we are we are going to invest heavily around it and the first part what 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 is your strategy for further brand building in general so see i uh, so uh, brand building is something which is a very very large concept okay uh, so we believe that if so so we are a very customer centric organization so we believe if you look and if you think about customer interest your brand gets built over time automatically okay so first is that we as an organization keep customer interest first second okay uh, we use a lot of communication with the customer so in financial services you know as you it's a complex world so communication is most important so you need to keep communicating with the customer at ups downs highs lows when the portfolio is doing good when the portfolio is not doing second is to do keep communicating with the customer a lot okay third as i said we have just made these two ads which you which you referred you know uh, uh, so similarly we are increasing our little bit of presence on the digital platforms and on digital platforms the objective is to start creating a lot of content because content helps you educate customers talk to them in the language which they understand okay rather than using the complex jargons using a content you know a, a layman content you can explain the explain the complex financial products into easy ways so a lot of investment is happening in basically creating digital content where you can engage with customers digitally explain them the products features and educate them so i'll give an example okay uh, uh, now a lot of people in equity markets do transactions however you know 
you have to be very disciplined to create wealth in equity am i right or or you have to be very disciplined in terms of you know type of stop losses market ups and downs so it is all about rather than giving people only the research and strategies and everything which a lot of people today are giving on 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 uh, twitters of the world and youtube the important thing is how to explain to or inculcate the discipline in the investors is a question now you can create a lot of blogs content which you can promote you know using your own handles your own digital platform and maybe using the influencers those who have a lot of subscriber base and talking about all these things so the whole objective is to as i said consumer is the first you know focus of the organization whole thing is to build content around a consumer which will help consumer basically get to the next level and create wealth for them and use the digital platform to communicate your answer has prompted me to ask one more last question what Please. is your media what is your media mix so uh, so i'll tell you okay uh, a large part of our spend is is digital right now okay and and the reason is specific as i said uh, for us all mediums are same the only thing why our spend is digital today is because we are able to talk to a very specific cohort of customers okay and we can actually curate the content and the channel as per their preference okay so the slip the, the uh, so, so so the slippage is very very less in, when, when we talk to the customer digital we can have a very sharp communication we can have a very sharp uh, sharp message and the content shared with the customer and within digital if i ask i mean is it email or whatsapp which is more prominent so so i, I i'll tell you it it all depends okay uh, so so i i i'll be i'll not be in uh, right position to answer you exactly how I, i'll tell you why uh, so a lot of our communication today is moving from email to whatsapp okay now consumer prefer whatsapp so even transaction communication is moving from your emails to whatsapp so that is how now your new product launches product feature launches are moving to basically instagram where you have the highest number of users i did it used to be only facebook now it's facebook and instagram okay some serious content influencers or something where you have you know some serious content is moving to linkedin and twitter so so as i said we use different mediums to talk to a different segment of customers okay if we create a very uh, uh, very uh, user friendly uh, product in general insurance example like a top up insurance for for our our youth or a young uh, consumers so we prefer to promote that or to educate the consumers on instagram because that's where we find a lot of youth are there so if we create something which is which is like uh, you know education series on say structured products or alternate investment funds we prefer to use twitter and linkedin so it depends on the Uh, on it's not about the mix in terms of we don't have any such thing like digitally how we want to have the mix it all depends on the type of a product type of an education which we want to provide and then we analyze what is the what is the user behavior of that platform and accordingly we use that thank you so much puneet for taking time out to speak with us yeah. thank you yeah thank you so much pleasure is all mine thank you very much